Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On. I am Slash Raptor and this is Ratchet Deadlocked. In the last episode, we completed Planet Stygia, which for some reason didn't have any dread challenges at all. And so we still got the Vindicator armor on. And I have since prepared the bots so that they will match Morax's prison. And for some reason, I've already got 3 out of 15 skill points, even though I've never been there before. And it looks like I have more in the Valix belt as well. I'm not sure what what's up with that. That's that's bizarre. Hmm. Infiltrate and survive the in uh, whatever. This is a desert level. It'll tell me all I need to know. I don't know why I'm wasting time reading the descriptions. Yeah, Maraxis. Let's do this thing. This is a cool level. Superstar contestant has his work cut out for him. His bots have been scattered throughout the prison under heavy guard. To escape, Ratchet will need to free each of the captives, then fight his way through an army of killer robots. They make it sound like it's Hurry, Ratchet. just a simple task. The Harbinger. Time will come. Red blocks of the prison. Make your way to Alpha Block to release your first bot. Okay, gotta think of some prison jokes. I just got another skill point, just like that. So that's already four in this level. Although three of them I didn't really earn. Folsom Prison Blues. So I guess the equivalent in, um, like the futuristic worlds, I guess if all they would ultimately get to the point where entire planets would be um, designated as prisons. Oh, the bot's right here. That's easy. What was the point of hiding this bot if he's right next to where I start? It took, like, maybe 30 seconds to find him. And it's going to take even less time to free him when I pop out my mini turrets. Oh, yeah, and I threw the, I threw the manipulate mod on. I keep wanting to call it manipulate because that's what the brainwash material was called in Final Fantasy VII. Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, this place actually reminds me of that area where, that you go to right after the Gold Saucer. Yeah, we, we do. Thank you for stating the obvious, but it's already done. You'll never take us alive, coppers! Oh, the Puma! We get the Puma! We finally get to use the Puma! We haven't used it since the Serathos episode. I think this is like the only other time it appears in a level. <laughs> Challenge complete! Okay. Yeah, 6 out of f 15 already. And I got 3 in that one mission, and then I already got 3 just for the sake of nothing. All three control nodes in the prison yard to unlock the portal to Beta Block. See, this is cool. I like this. This is like a free-roaming sort of adventure. You don't have to use the Puma, but you can. And we're not trapped inside it either. I think this is would have been in how they should have done the Stygia part, where you could use the Landstalker, but you... and you... maybe that you would need to use it to destroy the... the, the things for that first mission, but you don't have to f use it to get all the enemies killed. I don't know. Okay, so... Maraxis Prison. I like the, the... like the constant sandstorm sort of thing. Gives it an interesting... atmosphere. I'm out of ammo. So you can capture the node, and I will use the fusion rifle to take out all these enemies. I'm dying. Why am I dying all of a sudden? I was not paying attention to my health. Comes out of the gate hard and fast, hey, the you want a piece of me? Of Have some of this! I turn you into a chicken! I need health. Can I, like, find some health around here? I, don't, I know that there are so, lots of vehicle pads, but that doesn't help me. And in this game, using a vendor doesn't automatically heal you, so... I guess we're just gonna go on foot for a little while and hope I don't die. 
Hold still. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, did I did I get him? I think I got him. I think I turned him into a chicken as well. I'll turn all of you into chickens. It's the perfect evil plan. <laughs> yeah, that one's a chicken as well. And chicken. Turn into a chicken. Oh, he's gone. I don't know what I. T I don't know if I turned him into a chicken per, per se though. Oh well, I died. That dropship just kind of came and was like, "No, screw you! Stop turning people into chickens." Okay, so let's try that again, once more with feeling. Hey, hey, you know what I'm gonna do after this? I'm gonna eat a piece of cheesecake. Yeah. And then I'm gonna play more of this game. Okay, so we can't go that way. Um, hey, look, the node thing stayed... Well, it, it stayed captured, I guess. Take some of this! Die! I don't know if that's the same dropship that killed me, but it's gone now. Am I even hitting it? I don't know if I'm hitting it. I, I don't know if I actually hit it at all. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. No, I was not hitting it. I hit that guy up there, though, and turned him into a chicken as well. Oh, and I turned this guy into a flying pig. Hey, guys, look! When pigs fly! Ha ha ha! When pigs fly! When pigs fly! Uh-oh. Well, the flying pig exploded. Easy come, easy go. Ah, there it is. Another thing. Let's go get it. Stupid laserbacks, leave me alone, or you'll suffer the same fate as everybody else. Well, actually, I turned that one into a duck. I like ducks. Ducks are cool. Oh, and I turned that guy into a sheep. Drop ship, go away. I don't need any more enemies. Ratchet shows no signs of slowing down. This guy is a walking highlight reel. Arbiter! Go! Blow them all up! Boom! Don't even think about shooting at me. Okay, so one node left. What's in here? Is this does this lead anywhere? No, oh, jackpot crate. Whoa, what was that? Oh, there it's okay, so it's something outside. Oh look, another laser back. Wow, I would not have seen that coming. You know, the, there, there are other enemies that they could send after me that aren't laser backs. Carl, don't fly into the light! I can't help it, it's so beautiful! Shameless Bugs Life quote for you. Oh, you all look like little ants from up here. We are ants. I am a beautiful butterfly. That's not a butterfly. That is the level 7 Arbiter. I don't know about you, but if I was shooting somebody and then all of a sudden my gun just sort of erupted in light like that, I'd probably be freaked out and drop it. I'd be like, yeah! Okay, all the nodes are hacked. Let's go. Wait, do I do I have yeah, okay, so I have to get there, and then it'll be the end of the challenge. Oh, they gave us two laser backs that time. Well now it is a sheep. Oh. Stop dying. I can't I I need both of you on my side. They already took you both away well, they technically they only took one away because the other one was barely taken away. I had to walk like three feet, like three feet to get it. Okay, got some fusion rifle. For... Whoa. Okay. Well, that that was effective. I, I didn't wasn't entirely aiming at those, but well, it killed it killed them. There, sheep animals for all of you. Sheep animals. I mean farm animals. Yes, I mean farm animals. Okay, so we go up here, and that's the end of that. Challenge complete. And... Nope. 
Nope, not over 100 kills. Leave no man behind. I thought I just unlocked a Delta Block. So, so now... So how, so how come one of them is hidden... How come one of my bots is is better protected and better hidden than one of the than the other one? Mm, that doesn't seem. Well, more hacking. What else is new? I don't know why Dallas all of a sudden just goes. They're gonna have to hack those blocks. It's not like we haven't done that before. Okay, hack the orbs. I'll cover you because they're they're sending people at us. How are they coming f like, where are they all coming from? We- we killed everyone that was out there. So, how are they coming from behind us? They're coming from all directions. Oh no, they're trying to swarm us! Whatever shall we do? Hey, the Magma Cannon leveled up. How about that? Hooray! Magma Cannon! Maraxis. Sounds like an intergalactic space villain. I am Moraxis. I will steal the souls of all living beings in the universe. Okay, yes, we need an EMP. Oh, indeed, we need an EMP. EMP, okay. Yes, I have very little health left. I, I am about to die. Come on, explode. Explode. Ex thank you. God, the V6 is getting, is getting weak. It, its power doesn't, like, it becomes obsolete really fast, like I mentioned earlier. Even the dual vipers are, get a little obsolete. Stupid dropship, die! Die! Thank you. Okay, so I guess we have to go in there? I feel like this is where we came... No, I guess it was the other one on the other side. Oh, look! More orbs! Okay, gonna grab some of this health. Let's see, if the dual, let's see if the dual vipers can level up. I don't have very much ammo for them, but maybe they can level up before this, this level's done. That'd be kind of cool. Uh-oh! A laser back! I know! Hollow shield! It's so effective! My bot died! That's how effective the hollow shield is! I'm just gonna leave that thing there. Come on, bot! Let's go! Grind cable! Grind cable! Grind cable! Grind cable! Grind cable! Grind, grind. Oh, okay. Hey, look! We found him! Okay, so I think this is the final showdown level. Yeah, well, it says right there, showdown. Delta block. Aren't those things that old people take? They take like what is it, delta blockers? Or is it beta? I think it's beta blockers. How would a king amoeboid even fit in my underwear? King amoeboids are. But six times bigger than Ratchet is. Hey, there you go! Dual Vipers level up! And we get an aiming mod! Let's see if we can get the B6 up. It really kind of sucks now, but... Okay, so as you can see, there's like a whole bunch of these little... Uh, turrets that are like sleeping so I'm gonna set up a bunch of mini turrets of my own so that when I stand on the button my turret should get rid of all of these turrets because that's 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 what turn that, that's what triggers them it's me standing on this button oh yeah this is really exciting I am so you know, I'm so out of my... Out of my... Um, I forgot what I was trying to say. I am so outmatched, that's what I meant to say. I was trying to make it sound as though I was overwhelmed, but I'm not, because there were hardly any enemies. 
And the rest of these turrets didn't turn on either. Come on, turrets! Come out and play! I've set up my own turrets! Oh yeah, that's right! These guys are gonna make... The, the, uh, the turrets can convert other things to fight for us. I still don't really find much benefit in that. CS, turn the razor back onto and uh, put it on our side. Yeah, now we have our own laser back. They're gonna kill each other. <laughs> well, that one killed the other one. How long does it last? Or do I no? Okay, well I, I killed it. I'm a bad person. I killed I killed our laser back. I'm a backstab. Well, actually, I'm I'm a B6 obliterator stabber. I'm a ba I'm a back B6 obliterator. -er. Because I instead of instead of stabbing him in the back, I, I I use the grenade launcher on its back. I don't even know if those things have backs. I mean, it's in their name, laser backs. But it, I think they're just kind of a head with guns attached to it. I don't know if it really has a back or, or a head. I think it's all one part. I'm totally blown away. That was without a doubt one of the greatest performances in the history of Dread Zone. Really? It wasn't that exciting? I don't think Dallas has been paying enough attention to our earlier escapades. Campaign complete! And we get a black medal. And with two black medals, you know what that means. Oh, and we actually got over 100 that time. You know what that means, right? We're ready for the Liberator Tournament! Ratchet, you now rank high enough to compete in Battle Dome's Liberator Tournament. Yeah, so here, now this is like the last time we'll use the Puma. Oops, I missed the ring. Ow! Well, that that could have gone. But uh, damn it! I am I am not doing. Ow! I am not doing well at all. I'm not doing well at all. I missed the first two rings and blew myself up, and I've already got like half health. So yeah, this is ah, this is like the last time we used the Puma in the entire thing. I don't know if you. Ow! I don't know if you saw, but the other mission was um, another one of those things in the Landstalker where you have to destroy a certain number of um, of targets. There was there was one in Planet Shar that we didn't do, and there was one on Planet Orkson that we also didn't do because I don't need the Dread Zone points and I don't really like those missions at all. So I'm just not going to do that one. But I am probably going to die because I have like no health, and I don't think I can do the time either because I missed a bunch of rings. So, I'm just going to follow myself up, and we will start again. Okay. So, yeah. we Basically, I'll, basically we just have to do this thing, and then we'll be able to go back to Dread Zone Station. Damn it! Stupid barrels. There's more barrels here than there needs to be. Ah! Ow! Like, is this a race or an obstacle course? It shouldn't be both. Especially because the Puma doesn't really steer that precisely. Yeah, that was close. I don't like this at all. Uh, what's the point of racing if I'm not racing against somebody? Ow. Ow! Yeah. I don't like this! I think it's a little late for that, Dallas. I've kind of, like, hit, like, seven or eight explosive barrels. So it's probably a little late to be telling me not to scratch the paint. I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. I might be able to do this. Oh, yeah, okay. That that was exhilarating. I, uh, I don't like those barrels at all. Barrel full of monkeys, I like. Explosive barrels, not so much. Okay, back to Dread Zone Station. Just who is this Ratchet? 
Our Vox News investigation has uncovered shocking untold stories from his dark, sinister, evil past. The destruction of civic property, illegal hover by gangs, inadequate dental hygiene. Oh, be strong, Juanita, because there is one man that can put an end to this menace, Ace Hardlight. Ace Hardlight fans. I'm not sure he's a man. He looks more like a furry monkey wolf mammal creature. I mean, Captain Quark looks more like a human than Ace, except Captain Quark has three fingers. And, like, well, two fingers and a thumb. He's, he's yeah, that's... You ever, you ever notice that? Captain Quark has, like, only, only has three fingers. All right, can we do it? Oh, we can do it. Yeah, we got the time bomb mod. I'm definitely putting it right onto the arbiter. And let's put the shock mod back on those. And we'll put it back on... No, let's put acid on there. I like to have at least... I don't like to use the same mod over and over and over again. So let's see how we stack up. Oh wait, no. First we should go to Al's. See if he has any upgrades. Mm. Let's put acid on that one too. Got anything for us? Oh, whatever it is, I can't afford it. can't afford it. I'll just leave him that way. Well, anyway, folks, that's about it for this episode of Game On. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future, where we will continue to play Ratchet nice Deadlocked. But until next time, peace out, and as always, Game On.